Well, good afternoon, CCOA staff. Well, here we are, a new year. Normally we'd be super excited about getting back to our classroom, setting up, doing some fun things, prepping for our kids. It's a new kind of prep. It's a new time. It's one of those situations where we are in that we really haven't been trained for this, but we're jumping in with both feet. So what I would tell you is we're here to help. We're all in this together. We are really trying to do our best with the tools that we have and the time that we have. So please don't feel alone out there. Please reach out, let us know what we can do for you. And have a great year, because it is going to be a challenging one and one that none of us will forget. So best of luck, thank you. I'm Aaron Hines, and I'm your Associate Superintendent of Administrative Services. Administrative Services covers everything from business and payroll to human resources and IT, nutrition and food services and facilities, and we even cover the innovation appro innovative approaches to literacy grants. I want to take this chance to uh, thank you for coming out and to wish you a great morning and a great day. I also uh, would like to say that the business of education is a true group effort. And uh, the things that we look for and that we need from you are to not just come out and perform, but to perform as best you can to become the greatest leaders of the state. That's what we're looking for, to be a model statewide. And we've got the talent here to do that. And I just want to thank you for being a part of that. And it's a privilege and an honor to work with each of you. Thank you. I'm Cheryl Parker and I'm the Director of Business Services here at Calusa County Office of Ed. Um, business services encompasses payroll, accounts payable, accounts receivable, budget, and the most important thing you probably want to know is we do your paychecks. <laughs> um, in our payroll department we have Lisa Knight and Crystal Frazier and for accounts payable the lead person is Karen Morricone but Angelina Guizar and Alondra um, Morales Garcia also do accounts payable. Angelina and Alondra help with journal entries and budget, and I do a lot of financial reports and kind of oversee the whole thing and help where needed. But we do the budget for Clues County Office of Ed, and we help all of our programs at services, special ed, and children's services. And then we also do fiscal oversight for the school districts in our county. So Maxwell Unified, Calusa Unified, Pierce Joint Unified, and Williams Unified send us their budgets, their collective bargaining agreements, and we review them and make sure that they are fiscally sound and we help them when needed with um, anything fiscal and anything to do with budget and accounting. And that, in a nutshell, is pretty much what Business Services does. With over 370 employees, including substitutes and student workers, Human Resources strives to provide quality personnel services to our employees, our programs, the school districts, and the public. Every one of you are our customers. The services that Human Resources provides are recruitment, selection, hiring, and onboarding of new employees, assistance with teacher credential and permit applications, leave of absence requests and tracking, maintenance of personnel records, salary, schedules, and job descriptions, benefits and workers' compensation administration, employee compensation, calculation and negotiations, implementation of local, state, and federal employment policies, laws, and procedures, I'm lucky to have two great human resource specialists that serve the employees of Clues County Office of Ed. Brenda Ramirez provides personnel management and support to administrative services, first five, and children's services. Rachel Webb provides personnel management and support to educational services and special education. We pride ourselves in being the conscious of Clues County Office of Ed and constantly work to balance employee and employer needs. Human Resources is here to serve you. If you need any information or services, please give us a call.
Hello, my name is Alex Evans. I'm the Director of Technology for the Calusa County Office of Education. The CCOE Technology Department's role is to support and enhance the work of students and staff members in other departments. We provide several services for Calusa, Maxwell, Williams, and Pierce Joint Unified School Districts through a consortium that we call the Calusa Educators Wide Area Network, or CWAN. We are responsible for maintaining the network infrastructure that helps provide internet connectivity for the entire county. This encompasses several devices such as our firewall, web filter, several servers, switches, and wireless access points and controllers. All these things help you get to the internet. Kyle Gertz is the other half of the CCOE technology department. He's our technology specialist too. Kyle maintains the computers, oversees the CCOE help desk, provides phone support, email support through Office 365, video conferencing support, mobile device management for supporting our iPads, and professional development opportunities for the staff. As a team, we maintain and support the software and applications all throughout the county, and we also take care of video surveillance, warranties, licensing, Google services, cybersecurity protection, and system monitoring. In a nutshell, if it goes to the internet, we help you get there. My name is Jennifer Jelovich, and at CCOE, I focus on getting your programs and services out into the community. I support and highlight all the programs and services at CCOE by creating flyers and newsletters and brochures and articles and videos. I add to our social media, which includes Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and a YouTube channel. I maintain the websites. I connect with community organizations and our local papers, and I organize, I organize and participate in community events like the farmer's markets. This year, I look forward to supporting teachers and staff with distance learning and finding innovative ways to make learning fun and engaging for our students and our families. Please like our Facebook page, our Twitter and Instagram. You can find links to these at the bottom of our CCOE homepage. And please feel free to contact me at any time. And two more things. If you have old crayons, please send them my way. I make heart crayons for our community and our students. And lastly, for those fans out there, and I know there will be some more in the future, Pinky would like to say, thank you for watching and have a good day. I'm Angie Fulcher and I manage the food services program here at CCOE. We provide the meals to the daycare sites, the Head Start program, and we're also providing meals for the S. William Abel Academy and Coastal Buttes. I have eight year-round staff and currently I have four additional staff that are helping us meet the needs that the COVID-19 has put on us. Um, with the COVID-19, we are producing about 25,000 meals a month that are going out to our community children. So that's an amazing project that we've been working on and we're very happy to be able to meet the needs of these kids. Hello everyone, I'm Jared Robinette, Facility Supervisor for Calusa County Office of Education. Quick shout out to the entire facility staff crew. You guys have really stepped it up the past few months. It's been very difficult. You guys have really showed how caring, professional, you guys all are. You guys, you guys are all important. You guys play a big role coming in, going to these sites, keeping the site areas clean, safe, and healthy for the children and the staff. I wanna give a big thank you. You guys are doing excellent. Keep up the good work, guys. My name is Ginger Harlow, and I'm the Executive Director for First Five Calusa Children and Families Commission. So First Five actually receives uh, Prop 10 tobacco tax funding that gets filtered into a children's trust fund, and we administer that trust fund for Calusa County. So we fund various programs throughout the county, through the library, we fund family resource centers, Growing Start play groups, Raising a Reader programs, as well as provider incentive programs. Right now, we are working to distribute um, COVID-19 supplies to family child care providers and families with children zero to five. Uh, we have great staff. We have Nayeli Maldonado, who's our administrative program coordinator. We have Betty Hewson, who is our uh, Williams Family Action Center program coordinator. 
Kim Owens is our Arbuckle Family Action Center uh, Program Coordinator. Yesenia Moreno and Angelica Velasquez are our program assistants. And then we also have five AmeriCorps members that are placed throughout the county. So we serve approximately 3,500 um, children zero to five in the county and their families through our various programs. Hi, my name is Alyssa Moss and I'm the Digital Literacy Specialist for the Innovative Approaches to Literacy Department. I work with Stephanie Santana, who is our Literacy Liaison, and Carissa Williams, who is our Project Director. I train teachers and parents on how to use Footsteps to Brilliance and Clever Kids University, and I also push into the classroom with the students. Hi, my name is Stephanie Santana. I am the Literacy Liaison for Innovative Approaches to Literacy Grant. You may have seen me at book distributions and community events. If you need help downloading Footsteps to Brilliance at Clever Kids University, I can help you. Our program will be providing a multicultural pro book sharing program where children from preschool through third grade will be in a book club with their peers and at the end their children will keep books for their home libraries. Our program also will be providing trainings with our parents and our impact, impact licensed daycare providers within our community. Chuck Wayman, the Assistant Superintendent of Special Education for Calusa County. Um, the special ed department serves over 620 kids throughout the county. With a, We have 113 employees and we serve ages 0 to 22 um, with a qualifying disability. We are in over 25 locations throughout the county. We also serve um, numerous kids in non-public schools throughout Sacramento and Sutter County. Um, some of the highlighted programs we have are our preschool program is fully included. That means we serve all of our preschool students in Calusa County programs. Um, we have Coastal Buttes Academy here at the village for some disabilities that can't uh, be served in our local school districts. And also our workability program, which works on placing kids in job placements throughout the county where they have a job coach and learn some life skills that could they could take on throughout their life. Um, if you have any questions ever about the special ed department, we are located at the Education Village in Williams, um, Suite A. Please feel free to stop by and ask us. Thanks. I'm Vicki Marks, the Program Director for Children's Services. Our program provides early care and educational services throughout Calusa County. We have an excellent team that consists of 86 employees that strive to provide the highest quality for our youngest children. We serve over 525 children each year through our programs. Our programs consist of Early Head Start, for infant and toddler through center-based and home visiting, part day preschool through Head Start and state preschool programs. Our child development centers provide educational and engaging activities that promote early literacy, positive social emotional development, and prepares all children to reach their full potential. We also have our local child care planning council, our resource and referral program, and our CalWORKs and alternative payment program that provides parents throughout the community with options for childcare and parents with resources. When there is teamwork and collaboration, wonderful things can be achieved. We have a passionate group of individuals that are creative and enthusiastic, and they are what sets our team up for success. Thank you, Team Children's Services.
Good morning, everyone. My name is Maria Arvizu Espinoza, and I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Educational Services. I'm fortunate to work with a wonderful group of professionals that support in providing technical assistance in all capacities from preschool all the way to adults in the Calusa County community. Our department provides services such as social emotional support, instruction, technical assistance to the districts, as well as professional development. Stay safe, keep an eye on those around you, and as we've said many times before, we will get through this together. Thank you very much. <laughs>